Hi, everyone. My name is Ivo Gyurgina at Industrial Sound Mechanics. One of the most frequently asked questions we get is how easy it is to switch between flow through and batch configuration. As we discussed in one of our previous Q&A videos, our three ultrasonic processors can be used in either batch or flow through mode. Batch mode is used for processing small volumes in a beaker, for example, when you do testing or R&D, while flow through mode is normally used for processing larger volumes during production. So today I have invited Pavel Peshkovsky to show us how to switch between flow through and batch configuration. Hey, my name is Pavel. Today we're going to be switching this BSP ultrasonic liquid processor from the flow through mode in which it is currently configured to batch mode. It is a relatively simple process. So let's get started. You're going to need a couple of tools. First, you're going to need an adjustable wrench, two spanner wrenches, one rubber mallet, PPE, in this case it would be earphones, uh, your FBH horn and a miler washer, and the beaker with the liquid you're going to process. So the first step is to make sure that your tank valve is open. And this is so we can purge the lines. So right now, the flow is going from the tank to the pump into the reactor chamber where it is getting processed and back into the top of the tank. So we're going to reverse the flow so that it is pulling air from the top of the tank through the reactor chamber, through the pump, and into the bottom of the tank. So let's go do that now. We're making sure all of the liquid we processed is being pulled out. Make sure all the lines are empty. All right, stop your pump. Make sure your tank valve is closed. The next step is to make sure to remove all the connections going towards the tank. Our first step is removing two sanitary clamps. And set those aside. We won't need those for batch mode. And make sure you remove both sanitary gaskets. Set this aside, we won't need those anymore. Now we're going to disconnect the chill lines. And you can connect them back into each other and just put them aside as well. You're going to want to keep a pair around because we're going to need that when we're in batch mode. Now you want to make sure that your generator is turned off before removing the ultrasound cable. Set that aside. All right, now we're going to remove all six wing nuts and set them aside. Now that you removed all six wing nuts, you're going to loosen the clamp that is holding the reactor chamber to the stand. With the firm grip on the reactor chamber, you're going to slowly bring down the reactor chamber. Then you're going to undo the clamp that is connected to the support arm. Pull out your reactor chamber, and you can set this aside. Now we're going to remove the stack from the stand, and we're going to place it down. You're going to grab your adjustable wrench, remove the support arm, you can set this aside. All right, now you're going to grab your two spanner wrenches and your piece of half-cut silicone tubing. This is to protect the transducer from the spanner wrench when you are removing the one. Place your protective layer between the transducer and the spanner wrench. And then you're going to put your second spanner wrench into the hole. Grab your rubber mallet and tap on the spanner wrench until it gives away. Remove both spanner wrenches and set them aside. Now we're going to unscrew the horn from the transducer. And 
and you can set the horn aside. Now you've got your transducer, and we're going to grab our FBH horn. Make sure you have a miler washer in between the horn and the transducer. Screw the horn into the transducer by hand. Now we're going to grab our two span wrenches and our piece of half cut silicone tubing to tighten down the horn in the transducer. Alright, now we're going to tighten the horn to the transducer. Set the spanner to the side. Grab your support arm and screw it into your transducer. Make sure to use your just little wrench to tighten down the nut. Alright, now we're going to place the stack. Clamp, tighten down your clamp and connect your ultrasound cable to the top and one pair of chill lines to the transducer. Now turn on your generator. Alright, now that your generator is turned on. We're gonna come over here, grab our PPE, place it in our ears, and we're going to scan the stack. You want to scan the stack every single time you switch out your horn. This adjusts the generator to the horn, that way they function properly. All right, now you can remove the PPE, grab your beaker of the liquid you're going to process, place it under the horn, with a firm grip on your stack, we're going to slowly lower the horn into the beaker. You want the tip of the horn to drop in approximately two inches into the liquid. Tighten down your stack. And there you go. You're ready for batch mode. Thank you, Pavel. If you found this video helpful, please like it, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. You can comment below or send us an email through our website. Have a great day, everyone.